Hey guys, welcome back to Foam Dude. In a series of videos, I will cover multi-region simulations. I've seen on the uh, the discussion forums a lot that people have been struggling with uh, multi-region cases. Uh, for multi-region cases, we know there are two solvers, CHT multi-region foam and CHT multi-region simple foam, uh, which solve for conjugate heat transfer across a solid and a fluid uh, kind of a setup. So, uh, Let's look at the utilities that we will be using towards the CHT cases. Uh, the first utility, which is most commonly used even in the tutorial cases that ship with OpenFoam, uh, and it is called Toposet. Uh, there is a video, a really interesting video by uh, Tobias. Uh, I will link that in the comments below. Please go check it out. Uh, he discusses this feature more in detail. I will just give you a quick overview what is necessary for the multi-region meshing. So for multi-region meshing uh, or for toposet, the, the dictionary that you need is called toposet dict. You will find in the system directory. It's called toposet dict. If it's not there, you can copy it from the tutorial cases. I will upload this, uh, uh, this case on GitHub. Feel free to download it directly from the GitHub if you, if you would if you would prefer that. So in our mesh, I'm going to create a cell set called heater cell set from information obtained from this uh, source info. So what this deposit does is first it's going to grab all the cells that it's going to find in a box defined by the two extreme coordinates of the box. Alternately, you could have a cylinder as a source or you could have a closed watertight STL as a source. Uh, all Toposet is going to do is it will look for a closed surface and it will select all the cells inside that co closed surface. Now that closed surface can be specified as a box, a cylinder or any, type, any other type of source. Uh, that is available in OpenFoam or an external source such as a tri-surface. So you have to define the source name here and we are defining our source name as box to cell. So when we specify this as box to cell by default OpenFoam will look for a box entry in the source info. You can alternately specify tri-surface and give information about your tri-surface that it will look for in constant slash tri-surface. Action specifies what it is going to do. You can create a new cell set or you can add into a previously created cell set. Here we are dealing with cell set. Uh, it could be any other type of set. It could be a face set where it collects all the faces on a given, uh, on a given surface. And name is obviously the name. This is a variable that you can specify. You can we can put any name that you wish. Once you create the cell set, you can create a cell zone and you can add all of the sets to your zone. So what zone means is everything that will have similar properties, similar physical characteristics can be clubbed into a zone. So imagine you have multiple heaters. You can put all of those together in a zone. You can add multiple cell sets of heaters into one big heater and create a big cell zone called heater. But for this tutorial video, I'm only going to create one cell set defined by this box and put that cell set in a new cell zone and call it heater cell zone. So given that, let's go back to our case. Uh, I'm going to first start by running the block mesh and let's open our block mesh. In fact, let's uh, keep it running in the background so that we can see in real time what is happening in Toposet. So after running the, after running the block mesh, uh, you can see the basic mesh that it has generated. And for all future users, I'm going to click this button, include sets to visualize the sets that we will be creating. So as you can see right now, there is only one set, the internal mesh set as the default cell set that our block mesh generated. Now let's go back and 
let's run the toposet and you can see it has created a cell zone set heater of size 40 so it has 40 number of cells and in the previous iteration you see it has created a heater cell set of size 40 so we have created a cell set from this box defined in the toposet dict we put that in heater cell set uh, heater cell set and we took that heater cell set and created a new cell zone called heater of size 40. Now let's click this button refresh times to load what has changed in our mesh and you should be able to see that there is a new cell set called heater. So I'm going to click this and hit apply and now you should be able to see the heater cell set. In fact let me select both of them and change it to solid color. There we go. You can see my heater which is created inside is denoted by this color or rather each face has a different color. So we have the VTK block colors uh, enabled and it, it allows us to see different blocks in our mesh. Uh, so we have the background mesh and then we have this uh, extracted kind of uh, heater cell zone uh, which, which is uh, we have isolated portion of our original mesh. So if we disable the internal mesh, you can let me remove all of it. It's easier that way. You can see the toposet has worked its magic and we have selected this uh, this part of our original mesh. So let's let's look at the let, let's look at the next action. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I will open toposet again and what we will do is I will uncomment this part and add it above the cell zone creation and we will see what that does. So what it is going to do is it's going to create a cell set with the given box defined here. Let me just add a comment here box 1 and box 2. Oops, box two. So now it's going to create a new cell set with this box two, and it's going to add to the previously previously created uh, cell set, which it's going to identify with this name heater cell set. So it's going to look for a look for a previously created cell set called heater cell set, which we created here, and then it's going to add all the cells defined by this source box with the information extremities given here and then it's going to create a new cell zone which comprises of these two cell sets. So let's save this deposit. I'm going to go back and let's uh, let's let's delete our previous block mesh. Let's rerun block mesh and rerun deposit. And here you will see your cell zone heater is now of size 80 because it has created two boxes each with cells 40 and then added both of them together in the heater cell zone which is now of size 80. So let's go back let's do the refresh times and we should be able to see the magic. Now you can see there are two things this one was the previously created this was this is the newly created and both of them are still part of your original cell set or cell zone called heater. So there are multiple things that you can do. I will quickly go through the toposet to show you what, what is part of this toposet. Feel free to uncomment and uh, run toposet to see what it is doing uh, one at a time. But don't forget to make sure that you, you follow the order. You cannot add into a uh, you cannot add into a cell set that does not exist. So make sure you create with this action new first, and then add into it. If you don't have this action new and you directly try to add, it will probably throw an error. And also make sure that you uh, specify these bounding boxes properly if you want to change uh, the dimensions. So it's creating multiple uh, new cell zones. 
the interesting thing that I want to show you is uh, what it's doing is there is this last a second last action that it is uh, it's going to execute if you uncomment it's called invert so what toposet is capable of doing is let's say in your block mesh let me open the block mesh and let's also keep this guy handy so now we know that in our block mesh we have the background mesh and the heater cell set which is uh, which we we have just created now if you decide to invert, instead of creating a cell set, which is this red cell set, what inversion will do is, is it will select everything else. So you first create a cell set and it, then you just invert. So you will be left with the part of block mesh that does not include this. So it's a really interesting way of uh, creating different cell sets. Let's say if you want to uh, individually create different cell sets and then you just have the remaining mesh that you have to define as something else. That is, if you have created n minus one cell zones and now you are on to your last one. So instead of creating the last one, you can just utilize what you have created before and invert that selection to create the last one. So uh, with that, uh, I will stop for now. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. I can understand this uh, toposet could be a little bit too much to chew. And as I mentioned before, uh, please feel free to check out another tutorial by Tobias, which uh, highly I highly recommend his channel. He uh, really puts uh, informative videos uh, on YouTube. So uh, with that, uh, I will stop for now, and we will continue with multi-region meshing uh, in the next video.